Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad <coughs> Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Habita fillah For clarity For us to understand What we're referring to when we talk about The minhaj of the salaf of this ummah Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, the Madhab of Ahl Sunnah. We have to have an understanding what we're talking about, because many people in this day and age, it's become popular amongst many of the Muslim communities around the world for many people to refer to themselves as Salafi, or to refer to themselves as from being from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'a. And as the ulama say, al ibrabi al that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. Meaning, that there are those who claim, but in fact they may be jihadi takfiri. But they claim salafiyya, or they claim to be ahl sunnah. There may be of those who are from akhwan and muslimin and they claim to be from Ahl Sunnah and they claim to be from the Salafiyun and likewise many of the people the news agencies the public policy think tanks from around the world refer to anyone with an extremist ideology to be from Ahl Sunnah or to be from to be Salafi and this is a extreme mistake on their behalf and only causes harm and there is la la darar wa la dirar and there's no harm and there's no reciprocating harm so this falsification only destroys their pursuit of gaining appropriate and proper intelligence and in academia and in presenting the news properly because they are claiming that those deviants who are not from Ahl Sunnah claiming that they're from Ahl Sunnah likewise these labels affect Ahl Sunnah in that whenever something extreme happens the people blame the Salafiyin so it's very, very, very important that we have an understanding of the meaning. What do we mean, the ta'rif? So we're going to bring some fawaid, some benefits from Sheikh uh, Muhammad Bazmul, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, with regards to uh, the ta'rif or the definition of Salafi, what we're talking about, what, what are we describing here, and some of their foundation. So minhaj, and what we're referring to minhaj, minhaj huwa sabil, wa tariq al wadih. So minhaj, when we refer to minhaj, we're referring to a, a way, a path, or a methodology. And this is in reference to a way to achieve something. And when we talk about the minhaj uh, salafiyya, we're talking about the methodology, the way in which a person follows the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, understands kitabi la wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa salafi nisbati ila salaf. When we say someone is salafi, that means that they are, we're associating them with following the Salaf, following the pious predecessors, the Salaf as and this refers to the first three generations, as was mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who said, The best people are those people of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is the first three generations. So we're talking about the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, meaning those people who knew the Sahaba and as Muslims and were on istiqamah 
and Sa'ad Ilm from the Sahaba. These are general uh, definitions. The people of Hadith have very specific uh, criterion for what is a Sahabi and what is a Tabi'een. But we're just given a general meaning so that we have an understanding. And then we have Itba'a Tabi'een. This is the third generation. This is those, who peop those people who met Tabi'een. Ala Islam, they were on Islam, and they were on Sunnah, and they understood, or they took knowledge from those Tabi'in. They met a Tabi'i, tabi a Tabi'i, and they uh, took knowledge from them. And with regards to that, what we're referring to when we talk about. the Salafi Minhaj, we're talking about ma kana alayhi rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ashabahu radiyallahu ta'ala'ani majma'een wa man taba'ahum bi ihsan So when we're talking about the Minhaj a Salafi or, min, or, or, or methodology of the of Salafiyyah we're talking about what's meant here is we're talking about what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was upon and his companions Radiallahu Ta'ala and Majma'een and those who follow them in righteousness. So that means that includes everyone from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam up until now and until up until Yom Al Qiyamah that follows the way of the pious predecessors that follows the minhaj what was established by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that does not include the ashadis that does not include the various sufi sects that does not include uh, the mu'tazila that does not include the jahamiyyah that does not include the khawarij nor from the modern groups or jama'at like jama'at takfir wa hijra or uh, Al-Qaeda, or ISIL, or ISIS, or Daesh, or Akhwan uh, al-Muslimin, or Jamaat al-Tabliq, or any other group that has named themselves with something and practices or understands or has a, a, a different creed than Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, or a different me uh, methodology from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Meaning, for example, Khwana Muslimin. From Khwana Muslimin, it's a very big group. I wouldn't, we wouldn't say they're a sect necessarily, although some ulama refer to them as a sect. But instead, perhaps as Sheikh Saleh Ali Sheikh mentioned, that uh, groups like Khwana Muslimin and Jama'at al-Tabliq, you have people with various uh, creeds who fall under that Jama'ah, that group. That's why I'm not referring to them as sect. A sect is unified upon a particular creed. For the example of Mu'tazila, their creed is one. The Takfiris, their creed is, is one. In essence, that they make takfir for the major sins. They believe Iman is either non-existent or Iman is 100% is complete. So these are a part of their ittiqad, a part of their creed. Whereas Ikhwan al-Muslimin, and some of these other modern day groups that they do not necessarily share an exact creed. You might find some who have generally a Salafi creed from amongst the Khwana Muslimin and even amongst Jama'at al-Tabliq. But their minhaj, the way their methodology of articulating that creed differs with Ahl Sunnah. So for example, if you find a tabliqi who believes in uh, and doesn't negate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes, and they uh, follow, they understand in general the, the correct creed about Iman, that Iman uh, fluctuates and, and sometimes that it increases with uh, obedience to Allah and it decreases with disobedience to Allah. They hold all these general aspects of creed that Ahl Sunnah has, which comes from the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but yet they deviate by making khuruj, going with uh, Jama'at al-Tabliq, uh, not just going with them, that's, that's one aspect, but 
some aspects of their perhaps in their creed or that they make takdeem of going to Pakistan or India for these these uh, big gatherings uh, over going to Mecca and that they uh, make you know the 40 days uh, these uh, these particular time periods as an obligation upon the Muslims to fulfill as a part of Dawah and that they call the people to Dawah uh, or, or they try to establish Dawah without knowledge so those are just some of the mukhalifat. So meaning that someone could have in general the general aqidah of Ahl Sunnah but yet they go with them and they have those mistakes in their minhaj, their methodology. And there's a great uh, relationship there. Some say minhaj and aqidah are the same. Some say they have some differences, minhaj being the way, whereas aqidah being the actual creed that, uh, that is believed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. The point is, is that you find a difference between those earliest sects and the modern day groups. Moving on, Habatifillah, as we mentioned, so Salafiyya hiya ma alayhi ahla hadith, alladheena hum ahla sunnati wal jama'ah, fa hadhihi asma'i asma'uhum. Salafiyya, it is what the people of hadith were upon. Those people from ah, who were ahla sunnati wal jama'ah, and they had different names throughout time. Some of the names were Ahla Hadith. Some of the names were Ahla Sunnati with Jama'ah that they referred to themselves in that particular time. Salafiyun, as in now in contemporary times. Uh, Itba'a Salaf. Ahla Athar. Firqa Tanadia. These are all names meaning the saved sect. All of these Asma, they have different names, but yet their meaning and their who they are are the same because it was relevant to a particular time due to the uh, bid'ah that they faced in opposition and in, in, in opposition to the bid'ah that they faced and the people of bid'ah and desires that they faced in their particular time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَمَنْ يَشَاكِكَ رُسُولُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيْنَ لَهُ هُدَى وَيَأْتَبَعَ غَيْرِ سُبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُسْلِهِ جَهَنَّمْ Wasa'at Musira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whoever differs with the messenger after uh, guidance has been made clear, because this is where all the, uh, the groups went astray. Guidance was given, a prophet was, uh, came with the message, then the people went astray. And that they follow a path other than the Sabila Mu'mini then they will be associated with those who they loved or who they associated themselves with and they will be burned in the hellfire they will enter the hellfire and what an evil destination or evil abode the sheikh says wa sabila mu'minin awwal ma yusaddaq ala ma kana alayhi sahaba radiyallahu anhu alayhim fa khuruj an tariqihim itba'a li ghayri sabila mu'minin so he says the sabila mu'minin the path of the mu'min the believers First, is what the uh, companions, may Allah be pleased with them all, what they were upon. And leaving from their path is following, is the ittiba' li ghayli sabila mu'mineen. It is the following of other than the path of the believers. So this is the shahid here, that the path of the believers is the path of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. It's the path of Ahl Athar. It's the path of Ahl Hadith. It's the path of uh, the Salafiyun. It's the path of the Salaf al Salih. This is the path that we called the people to. And we'll end with one last faida here. وَقَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, Khalifat who came a a from, from after me. Who the rightly guided Khalifat? Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين قال أبو حاتم بن حبان رحمه الله تعالى في قوله فعليكم بسنتي 
So Ibn Hibban said with regard to, with regard to the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said uh, it's upon you my sunnah it's upon you my sunnah Ibn Hibban said about, about this in the dhikruhu al-ikhtilaf alladhi yakun fi ummatihi bayan wadih anna man wadhiba wadhiba ala sunan qala biha wa lam yu'raj ala ghayriha min ara'i min al-firqat al-najiyah fi fi al-qiyamah ja'alan ja'alana ja'alana Allah minhum bi minhi Ibn Abi Hat uh, Abu Hatim Ibn Hibban rahimahullah ta'ala said with regards to just that that part of the hadith fa'alaykum bi sunnati it's upon you my sunnah he said when the prophet sallallahu mentioned this when he mentioned the the differences because in the beginning of the hadith the prophet sallallahu said fa sayyara ikhtilafan kathira that you're going to see many differences so Ibn Abi, so uh, Abu Hatim Ibn Hibban mentioned, he said, so when the Prophet ﷺ mentioned this differences that would happen between his nation, uh, a very, uh, that, that it was very clear, that, uh, that there was a clear way for those people who followed his way. It was a clear uh, uh, encouragement to follow his way, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And speak with it, meaning practice it, and 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 have it, uh, uh, you know, practicing what you preach, so to speak, and not following other than it, from the opinions, from those other than the firqa tanajia, meaning the saved sect. And this term, the saved sect, isn't from Salafis today. This is a term, a firqa tanajia, which comes from a hadith. Meaning those people who were saved from the fire in the hadith the Prophet ﷺ said, If tarakatil Yahud ala ita wa sabin firqa, if tarakatil Nasara ala ithnatain wa sabin firqa, who said to Fariku Hadi Umma la Talata wa sabin firqa, Kulla hafinna little illawahida, Kulla men hiya ya Rasulullah, Kala men kana ala men kana ala iwa sabi al yom, or a jama'a, or kama kala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet ﷺ said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, Christians in the 72 sects, my um in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, and, and, and my companions, or the jama'ah. With that meaning, a firqa tanajia refers to those people who are saved from that fire. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Kullaha, kullaha finnar ila wahida. All of them in the fire except one. Who are the one? They are, they are firqa, firqa tanajia. They are the saved sect. Meaning all of those were sects because he said 70, 71 sects for the uh, Christian, 72 sects for the Jews, 73 sects for his ummah. Uh, uh, 71 sects for the Jews, 72 sects for the Christians, 73 sects for his ummah. Kullaha fin nar al wahida. All of them in the fire except one. Who is the one? Men kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa sahabi. Those who are upon what I'm upon in my sahaba. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. So that is the firqa, firqa tanajia. That is a safe sex. So it's not a tiskiyah to nafs saying, oh, I'm from the safe sex. La. Rather, you hope to be from the saved sect by following the menhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah, by being Salafi, by practicing Salafiyyah with all aspects in your creed, in your methodology, in your mannerisms, because all of it is from the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. All of it makes up Salafiyyah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us to be of those people who practice what we preach and be of the people of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, those people who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves.